it's time to make another video. Today is November the 16th, 2016. It is 9.46 in the morning here in West Michigan. I'm sitting here waking up to another day. Uh, writing in my diary. I'm on page 934. I'm on the second half of my November 2016 diary. As I've mentioned in the past, when I reach the 15th of the month, I, so this is the 15th, I start in my second one on the 16th of November. So every month, I have 1 through 15 in one folder, and then I have 16 through the end of the month, which is the 30th of November in the second folder. Because it tends to get pretty full of folder, and I don't like to cram everything into one folder. I can, I have, like I said, I keep articles in my folders throughout the month. This is on the presidential election. This is an email from a booktube friend. And I keep all my receipts in my folder and emails and things like that. I put stickers from CDs here. You can see this. This is from the group Anrock, which is a death metal group. Their album, Mute Books. And somebody sent me a sticker with one of the CDs, and I put it there. Things like that. So yeah, today I'm on page 934. This morning, I got out to read uh, these books. For de morning devotions. This is uh, the Epistle to the Romans commentary by Richard Longnecker. This came out uh, in 2016. I was reading this a couple of months ago and then I started reading this Romans commentary on nine, this Reformation commentary on Romans chapters 9 through 16 and I wanted to read what Longnecker had to say on Romans chapter 9 so I got this out. And I've been reading uh, Paul's New Perspective, Charting a Sociological Journey by Rick Garwood B. Anderson. And I've been reading the book of Isaiah and God's Kingdom, A Thematic Theological Approach by Anthony D. No, Andrew D. Apernathany. Um, when I was re I also been reading this book, The Saving Righteousness of God, Studies on Paul, Justification, New Perspective by Michael Byrd. He quoted this book in one of his footnotes, Michael Byrd, and I got it out, Christ Our Righteousness, Paul's Theology of Justification by Mark A. Singfield. I was reading this yesterday. It has a chapter on the message of Romans here, uh, the, the conversion of Paul, uh, ungodly Israel and the nations. It's, I read this book, you can tell I got all kinds of bookmarkers in here. I really got into this. It came out, what year did this one come out? This came out in 2000. That's a, that's a long time ago. But yeah, it came out in 2000. I thought it was a lot earlier than that had that 16 years? I know it doesn't seem right, but that's what it says here, because I remember just reading this. <laughs> was that 16 years ago? I don't know. Anyway, it's a good book. So I was reading those in the morning, throughout the week. Today is uh, Wednesday, so I've been reading those. Uh, I mentioned I was reading uh, this novel I got at the uh, I volunteer at the library used bookstore. 
I got this last Saturday, this novel by Anthony Burgess, The Wanting Seed. Uh, so I've been reading that. And I mentioned uh, this book by Anthony Burgess, Man of Nazareth, which is a novel on the Jesus of Nazareth. I never read this, but I found this at some used book sale. Uh, and then I was mentioning another video on predestination, election, and reprobation. I was talking about the Reformed theology and decretal theology. And I remember reading this. This is Armelia Catschilia. It's a, this is a Puritan reprint. Uh, this came out originally in... 1659. See, it's a facsimile, so they just printed the original edition. They photocopied it, so it has the original kind of archaic kind of printing. Uh, I have some more of these, but I can't remember where I put them. But I was reading this one. This came out in 2011. And there's a section on here, it's basically theology. And it goes in, the last thing I read was on, on election. I think that's what I was reading on. It says, um, yeah, it was the last thing was on the chapter, grace, what, from it, grace, what? from its springs, election, redemption, vocation, sanctification, and salvation. The cabalet not to receive it in vain, it purgeth and cheereth. Uh, he has glosses upon Titus 2, verses 11 and 12, and 2 Th Thessalonians chapter 2, 26 and 17. The exaltation of free grace, exhorted to long-suffering, not exercised towards evil angels, but towards men of all sorts. It leadeth to repentance, is valued by God, and must not be slighted by us, a dreadful example of goodness despised. So I was reading this again this week. And then the uh, last couple of days I've been re reading in the, in the late afternoon and evenings, Casanova, A World of Seductive Genius by Lawrence B. Green. Yeah, I've been reading this. I read this last night. Before I went to bed. I've been going to bed early. I don't know why. I just lately I just been going to bed early. I just I read all day. I write all day. I'm on the internet and uh, I just go to bed and get up early. So I get up in the morning and I write in my diary and I read my Bible and I pray and like I said, I was reading this one this morning, The Stating Righteousness of God. And this chapter I've been reading on, is on raised for our justification. How when Christ was raised from the dead, he was, we were raised with him and we were declared righteous and just by his resurrection. Because he as the second Adam represented all the elect. And when God raised him, he was declared righteous and just and because we are in him mystically that we were declared righteous and just so things like that so i have books coming in the mail this week and, but yeah that's what's going on here in my book world reading the wanting seed says here, The Wanting Seed is a Malthusian comedy about the strange world that overpopulation will produce. Traston Fox and his wife Patrice Johanna live in their skyscraper world of spacelessness where official family limitations glorifies homosexuality. It's sapient to be homo. This time of the near future is eventually transformed into a chaos of cannibalistic dining clubs fantastic f f fertility rituals in wars without enemies. The Wanting Seed is a novel of ex that is a novel both extravagantly funny and grimly serious. So yeah, remember I mentioned that Anthony Burgess is 
famous for his novel The Clockwork Orange. So I've been reading that. It is kind of grim, but. So yeah, one thing I wanted to mention is that I don't dye my hair purple. I don't have any tattoos. And uh, I'm not really into intellectual Christianity. I was thinking about that. You know, I have all these books, you know, all these heavy Christian books. And I tell you the truth that Christianity is not an intellectual thing. Uh, it's one thing you can fall into, that you can get into a religion of intellectualism. That you think the religion is just a bunch of books, and thinking a bunch of thoughts, and intellectualism. But it's not that. It's a false kind of Christianity that think it's just having a theology in your head because theologies are all man-made. They're all just theologies come and go. But the Word of God is what stands forever and that's what I, I'm always saying in my videos. I go by the Word of God. I mean, I read all these books, but, you know, it's not Christian. I just read them because that's what I do. I read, uh, I like to read Christian literature. I try to read the best Christian literature I know. And, but I'm always reading it in the light of scripture. And it's just one man's opinion. So anyway, I'm hoping you're having a good week and thank you for the new subscribers and for the comments. And as far as the elections, I've been praying for the Lord to give me a good perspective on things to you know, sometimes you feel like you're in a corner and, and you, can't, you feel trapped and you feel there's no way out. Well, I always remind myself, well, there is a way out and that's to pray that God will see you a way out. To, to get, it's like you cast your burdens on the Lord, that you pray, Lord, give me a perspective on life and what's going on in the world the way you see it. Give me grace to somehow see things and just get grace just to go through this life. It's, you know, life is hard and we need the Lord. So anyway, hoping you're having a good morning, a good week. Till next time, bye.